All right, good morning, everyone. Lewis Sports Signal Man Over Market, and today is uh, April 30th, the last day of the month, and uh, this is the ES Morning Call. All right. So, you know, the market's been in a trading range. Here is the 20 day, uh, day only profile. Let's take a look at it. Let me. So, the 20 day mode is uh, right at 2098, right? So, we're trading right below it right now. Um, 2077.63. We have a gap down here. For me, filling this gap would be nice. That would be nice. And then, you know, we can then take it up to the moon, Biff Bam, Zoom Alice. All right. Um, overnight, we got a high of 21, basically 21.02. We got a global X low here of uh, 2090 quarter. Still have these single prints to finish at 2088 quarter. And then we have these over here at uh, 2087 half. So um, that's my 10 point view to the downside. Um, then we have a bunch of stuff that is below that. Okay. All the way down to. Uh, 2064 but let's not get into that tonight um, looking at the profile um, based on overnight action um, looks like it's gonna spend some time in this area chopping around like it did yesterday <coughs> excuse me um, so I think uh, you know my bias right now is to the short side and so we can fill in down here and then uh, I think after 930 we'll get a better idea what's going on better idea all right, so take a look at that. Um, on a day chart, uh, and if you take a look at this day chart, it's sort of like the converse of the rally, right? You know, we had a bunch of consecutive days that, that we went up, but we really didn't go anywhere, right? So, I mean, we're working on, a, we had a, a down day, an up day, and now two down days. But, I mean, look look how the, the range is contracting here, right? So, I, I you know, I'm going to, draw my trend line from here to here right up through the these lows and see what happens all right um so uh that's what i'm looking for on the downside you know we take this trend line and, and uh go from there um on that four hour chart that we like to look at uh we basically uh you know we're at the bottom of the keltner right now here's the four hour all right here's the four hour chart you know, here's these tails hitting the, the bottom. Um, we have the pivot at, at 86 and a quarter, the four hour pivot. So uh, keep an eye on that. All right. Um, you know, it's getting in the oversold area, oversold. So, uh, you know, be a little leery of what's going on there. And then yesterday was a dismal trading day for the um, ES because if you take a look at this, you know, that's the yesterday's middle. We spent the day or the whole afternoon. Sorry. Look at this. They spent the whole afternoon in this in this range. All right. All right. And then we got out of it last night and we're trading down below it. So um, looking to fill those those areas in the, in the uh, uh, down below. Let's take a look at the. Uh, the five minute pivot is sitting right here at 2098 half. The bottom of value is 2096 half, and uh, point of control is 2102, and then we have 2103 half. So, um, bull bear zone is right here at uh, what's that 20? Uh, what is it? And what we got the bull bear zone is that is that 21 half? 21 half yes looks like 20 at 20 half 20 zero zero point half all right and then the five minute pivots there all right um, currently all the sisters we have We've got the Nasdaq in a buy, we've got the Dow in a buy, and we've got the Russell in a buy. So they've taken out their uh, five-minute pivots. We're the only index that has not taken out its five-minute pivot. So, uh, you know, looking like there may be a little retracement there. So uh, be careful this morning if we get that sell-off and uh, we cover some of those single prints. You know, don't get yourself caught down there. 
All right. Um, especially if we get back inside value and 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 start trading through this uh, 2098 half, 2098 half. All right. Um, as far as the rest of the markets are concerned, um, you know, I didn't think Janet Yellen stuttered yesterday, but we made a low of 158.22 in the bonds. Um, we're going to use uh, 5904 as the bottom of value. 5912 is point of control. 5911, the bull bear zone, and the top of value is 160.06. Um, you know, if this holds true, um, you know, it's been, you know, basically they said they're not going to raise rates. So uh, I think we've got a lot of shorts in the market and we could see a rally in the, by the end of the day in the bonds. Unless there's a sneak attack plan, then we don't know anything about the that. You know, those usually were always the best trading days when the Fed came out with a surprise rate cut. All right. Look at gold. Woo what came out here? Is that... Was that on the news at 7.30? Yeah, it must have been. So uh, gold, which has had that big, big spike up, is now through our, our bull bear zone, which is at uh, um, bull bear zone at uh, 12.01.88. 12.01.88, we're through that. 12.04.30 is the uh, bottom of value, 12.09 point of control, and 12.10.50. So I think that we're getting a little bit of a correction here in gold based on the move that it made up. I mean, that thing went up like 40 bucks from the low the other day, you know, and uh, now we're getting a little bit of a correction back. So um, um, I think that's going to sound $17 on the day right now, gold. Why are we trading S&Ps? We should be trading that that product. At least it moves around and you don't have a bunch of algorithms in there that uh, are uh, uh, influencing the market. Un unduly influencing the market crude is on a mission i think to get its way back up to the upper 70s uh 59 and a 59 half all right um top of value is 58.91 point of control uh 59.85 or 58 half 58 double is our point of, is our bull bear zone and 57.81 is the bottom of value so um that's crudes up 50 cents right now okay all right everybody have a good day um like i said all the sisters are up right now um look for i think you got to be selling rallies today but um remember we're working on three lower closes as far as the day goes we're on uh working on three lower closes but we really haven't gone anywhere well i'm sorry we had a lower higher two lower we haven't gone anywhere We've, we haven't taken this out. So if we draw a trend line from here, from these bottoms up, I think that that's going to be the key. Do we take out this area, all right, this this 2090 area? If we take this 2090, 2089 and sustain below there, then we got a chance of making a correction, okay? All right, everybody, good luck. Talk to you later. Bye.